What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Bolt Ratty here, and uh, today I'm bringing you another tutorial. Um, I know it's been a long-ass time since I brought you one of these, uh, but it's that I've been so busy with schoolwork and work in general that I honestly didn't have no time to make any tutorials, so I'm going to try to uh, release these as soon as possible or as soon as I can. But uh, today, I'm basically bringing you a tutorial on how to do, on different ways on how to sync shots. Uh, this can work in many different ways, but uh, I'm going to show you a few right here. Uh, so basically, this is what we're going to be creating. Right there is one syncing where you've seen the blur edges on the side. And then right here you see uh, twitch, uh, how it's twitching when you shoot. Yeah, but that's basically uh, a couple different ways. I'm going to be going through After Effects and Sony Vegas ways on how to sync shots. So hopefully that will help you guys out a little bit. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and in import uh, a feed that we want. I'm going to go into... The bolt folder and grab a feed. Um, we'll just go ahead and grab this one, and then uh, my computer is slow as dick. And so what you're gonna do is go ahead. Oh, I guess I have it. Go ahead, import this. We're going to do the Sony Vegas one first. So you want to go ahead and find the feed. And we're going to work through Vegas, have my workflow during Twixter as well. Oh, oh no, really? Enemy Enemy so basically a couple of sinking shots you can do. Uh, let's go to our first shot. You want to go ahead and split your clip. To where he shoots, so about right there. So he kills the guy right there, kills the guy right there. Split here where the bullet goes. Kills two there. And kills one there. So basically a couple good ways you can uh, do some syncing to this is uh, find a nice song. So let's go ahead and put a good song in real quick. We'll use this song. Sometimes it lasts and loves, but sometimes it does and stay, stay, stay. I'm going to use an intervention sound because I don't have the L11 sound effect yet. But I'll be getting that soon once I hop back on MW3. So you just want to place this uh, sinking shot to where the song goes. up to about right there put this sinking shot so we'll have copy this and then take this 
is basically how my workflow is. This is how I work towards different stuff. Alright, so basically what you want to do now is go ahead and uh, render these clips out right here. So let's go ahead and render them out real quick. So then you want to render the other two out. Just go about midway on this. Actually, go up a little bit further to about right here. And we'll do this as the third one. Alright, so uh, basically I'll be bringing tutorials for you guys a couple times a week. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now what you want to do is go ahead and import your rendered clips you just rendered out. This is, I know people have different ways of doing this and please don't tell me that one way is the right way because it's not. Uh, this is how I do my workflow and you guys should respect that. So tutorial. To go ahead and remove this stuff, remove this, put the second clip in, remove the audio, and the third clip, remove the audio on that. Remove this, you can delete this, you can delete these items, and we'll just drag this to about right there. Drag this down. I'm not sure where that's lagging. Alright, anyways, whatever. It'll lag, it'll lag. Freaking computer. I think we're just gonna do Sony Vegas for today, though, because this might take up a little bit of the time. So, anyways, what you're gonna do now is go ahead and put on Radio Blur. Drag that under the first clip. You want to hit proportional on this, and then you want to hit animate. Drag this all the way to the end, and bring the strength down to zero. Do it for the second sinking shot. Proportional, animate down to zero, and the third one. And so I'm gonna go ahead. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, render this out real quick, and I'll preview it out for you. All right. So basically, this is pre-rendered out, and we can take a look at it real quick. Oh, I'll make this a little bit bigger. So. As you see, the sides come out. And also what you can do, as is my previous tutorial, you can go ahead and uh, add some color to this just by going to color curves and um, just putting in a color that you like. I 
Anyways, that's the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, be sure to like, favorite, and comment.